All right, today we're gonna to be focusing on finishing up our David Hale inspired animals using contrast. So, so far we've been working on our animals. We've had these beautiful line designs inspired by David Hale. We've got something embodied in our animals that reminds them of something they're seeing or feeling inside of them. And likely you've already trimmed this out. If not, you're gonna carefully trim out your animal and then you can set that aside because we're going to focus on this graphic colored background to contrast all those organic shapes we're going to focus on geometric shapes when you do this you could use a ruler if you'd like you don't have to um, I think you do a pretty good job of cutting in straight lines but if you wanted to use anything that was circular you might want to take like i used the lid of this yogurt container or a bowl or maybe a water cup or something like that i like to use a circle when i'm doing this as well as some straight edges so this is what i'm using my pencil for right now is just to simply trace around this circle and I'm going to go ahead and cut this out so I can see maybe some extra things that I could, areas that I'll be using with those straight lines in a second. So I'm going to carefully trim this out. I'm going to try to do this in one cut. And notice if I'm using this hand right here to rotate, it does a little bit better of a smooth cut than when I was just trying to cut straight down without turning it. So with my non-dominant hand, I'm spinning my paper around. That helps to get that nice smooth cut. Perfect. Now look at this. This in art we call our positive shape, but we also have this that I trimmed out, which is a negative shape. I could use that in my design as well and I'll show you how we're gonna create balance if I do use this. So I'm gonna take this piece and I might cut a square. Now again, this is your choice. These are just some options that you can use. Okay, this could be a piece that I'll use. This could be a piece that I'll use. Now over here, I might cut out a triangle by making a straight cut. And maybe I want to cut out another strip here. And then maybe I'll make another square. Make another square here. I'll use in this corner edge right here. Now before I go too far, I'm just gonna play around with this because that black sheet of paper that we had Oh, that we're gonna need that too, by the way. You have that black sheet of paper in your kit. Okay, I'm gonna take this black sheet of paper. I'm gonna lay this down, and this is where we're gonna start playing around with our pieces. I want you to focus on balance as we're doing this. So let me grab out all these pieces, and I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and get this sheep, my animal right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. Now these colors are gonna be in my background because again, my focus is the contrast is gonna pop my animal and this graphic background adds a modern touch. So as you can see, I use the negative space right back behind here and so I have this nice graphic pop between the black and the blue and I balance that by putting a little of that circle on the other side so it kind of balances in a visual way and then I'm going to slide this maybe underneath here and you can see when I do that it creates a negative space right here I can almost see another triangle so I can kind of balance that by maybe making a triangle back here. So now you can see how my animal's starting to pop out. I'm using that color that's gonna make it come out. And I have this one more piece, that's all I cut. And maybe I'll just see if I wanna bring it in somewhere down here. Maybe I wanna pop some of those feet out right here. Perfect, so once you have this kind of, you feel like it's nicely balanced between your 
geometric shapes in the background and you tuck it in behind your animal so that you can kind of place it. I place my animal right here in the center. Now I'm gonna remove my animal. I'll paste it on last. And then you might want to grab a blank sheet of paper. And then I'll work one piece at a time. So I'll take this piece and the blank sheet of paper is good because that way I can go right to the edge and it doesn't get on my tabletop surface. all of it so it stays glued down nicely and then I'll just paste one piece on at a time so I haven't removed anything that way I can remember where all of my pieces go this piece is a little thin but it can work up Time to get that one down right where I want it. There you go. Pretty good. I'm gonna go back behind his head. I think that's fine. Now I'm gonna take this piece, glue everything down. down my main inspiration here the star of the show my animal and I'll just kind of move it so it gets right up there in that little piece that I just kind of messed up just a little bit when I paste it down perfect so the last thing that I'll do is glue him on and I am done snap a picture of this guy yours and put it into the canvas assignment and I'll go ahead and show you here's the other one that I did the fox right here and so you can see how that background same thing really pops him off um, and how I try to balance out my colors so I have a little bit on the top of this purple a little bit on the right a little bit on the left so have fun I can't wait to see your art